Hi everyone and welcome back. This is Mindy Egan and in today's video I have a really fun shape card to share with you today. This is using the House Builder and House Builder add-on from Honey Bee Stamps. I'm going to start by giving you a quick look at the dies. This is the original House Builder. So this is what you want to start with when you are making your card. This has the main house base that you're going to need and a lot of additional elements. And then this is the Gingerbread House House Builder add-on. So this has a ton of elements on here to create gingerbread houses, uh, just a Christmas scenes, Christmas houses, wintry scenes. I couldn't even fit it all in my camera view. This has just a ton of different ways you could decorate your house. There is also a stamp set and it has some cute little gingerbreads on it along with some of the images that you also have dies for to cut those out. There's candy canes, a sleigh, presents, a lamp post, some snowflakes, uh, trees, uh, mailbox. So like I said, tons of different ways you could do this. Now this is meant for a gingerbread house, but I decided to go in a little bit of a different direction. I'm actually going to be making, uh, it's kind of like a Santa's workshop, but more of a Christmas house depends on how you look at it. And I will walk you through some of the pieces that we will be using. Now I'm gonna start off with my base. So this is the base template that you're going to need. I die cut one from Cherry Pop cardstock and one from Sugar Cube cardstock, which is the white. The white is for the inside of the card, which we will use later. And that skinny piece right there, you definitely will need, which is going to make our card open and close. Now I'm starting off with adding a little bit of a stencil to my background. I'm just holding that stencil in place with some purple tape and I am taking mulled wine ink and I'm ink blending this stencil onto that cherry pop cardstock. This is going to give me a brick house look. Now you could use pattern paper, you could use just plain cardstock, whatever you prefer. I just really loved this brick house look. So once that's done, I'll remove the stencil and I'll set it off on the side to start assembling some of my pieces in just a moment. What I wanted to show you is Honey Bee Stamps also carries this paper pack and this is a really, really great paper pack. It has double-sided uh, cardstock, this is six by six, and these are just different things that you could die cut that house out of. Lots of great patterns on here for the roof or for the house base. And that I will have linked down below in my video description, along with all of my other supplies that I'm going to be using. So here I die cut out two sets of trees and I'm going to layer them together. But first I'm going to take some sweet basil ink and I'm just ink blending uh, the bottom of each layer. This is just going to add a little bit of dimension to my images when I layer them together. Once those are done, I'm going to die cut some curtains from some pattern paper, and I'm gonna need three sets of these because I'm gonna have three windows to my house. So I'll set those off on the side. And I know it's probably hard to see the pattern on there, but there is kind of a light dot polka dot pattern. And then the rest of this is really just assembling my images for my card. I'm starting with the trees, and I love how they layer on top of each other. You could also stamp these from the gingerbread stamp set and you could Copic color them. I have some pineapple cardstock for my windows. This is going to make it look like it's glowing from the inside and I'm adding my curtains to that. And then I have the window frame there, die cut from paper bag cardstock. So I'm adding that to all of my windows. And I made sure to have everything die cut ahead of time because there is a lot of die cutting to this. And there's just so many different ways that you could do this. I kind of kept it a little bit simple um, just as my first one that I was creating here. Now this white piece, the scalloped, I added, I thought it was really cute, just a fun element to add to the windows. This is off of the add-on die set. Same thing with my door. These are off of the gingerbread house add-on. I have a little wreath 
and then a ribbon that I die cut out of red glitter cardstock. And now anything that was snow, I die cut from pixie dust cardstock, which is a white glitter cardstock. And I have some little lollipops here or suckers that I'm going to add to the front of my house. This is going to be the window uh, up at the top of my house that I'm going to add to the roof. And I kept it consistent with the white layer behind it, but I did need to trim off a couple of those corners to make it fit. Now my little snow banks here is actually a bush off of the original house builder die set. I just die cut it out of white and turned it into snow banks. So I'm giving this a white roof and then I'm going to add snow drift at the bottom and I'm just using liquid glue to attach that. Now after I had assembled everything, these do fit in an A2 size envelope. Um, but I did find out that my icicles or my snow hanging off the edge there uh, were a little bit longer than my card, so I did have to trim that off just a little bit on each side, but they do fit perfectly inside of a regular A2 size envelope. Now, when I originally was working on this or looking for different ideas, uh, definitely you could do the gingerbread house. I I went to Pinterest. I was looking at different ideas for a gingerbread house, what colors I wanted to do, what elements I wanted to add, and you get lost in that Pinterest world. And I stumbled upon um, villages, like those porcelain houses that you can buy at the craft stores, the Christmas villages. And I just got lost in that world. I stumbled upon so many different Christmas houses and villages. I thought that was really cute. If you make these, you could display them and have a little Christmas village. I do actually have another card that I will be sharing over on my blog that I had created. Um, I found Charlie Brown houses and Mickey Mouse house. It was just a lot of fun with these houses. So as I was gabbing, I finished off the front of my card. I added foam squares to the trees and the top snow portion of my little eave there at the top. So some great sparkle. I really loved how this came out. Now this is the inside of the card. This is that strip we die cut earlier. It has a score line in the middle. You're just going to want to fold on that score line. You could reinforce this with a score pal if you have one. I just folded mine in half. And then I'm going to reinforce that with my bone folder and make sure I have a really great crease. This is what's going to attach our two card pieces together to make this into a shaped card. Then I'm taking some double-sided tape from Lawn Fawn and I'm going to add a strip to each side of that score line. I like to use that double-sided tape because I know it is really strong and will hold up. Then I can remove the backing and I'm going to attach one. This is the inside of my card. Now, I don't care that this shows on the inside, but if you're looking, you could die cut another piece to hide that. But I attach that to the very top, and then I'm attaching my card front to that other flap. And so once we seal that, this is going to be our shape card, and it's going to open and close really well. It's perfect. I love this. It is so cute and such a unique design. But I forgot to stamp my sentiment before I attached everything. So I'm setting this into my Misty. And I'm going to stamp this Believe in the inside of my card. I like this is a beautiful font. And I love the message. It kind of goes with my Christmas feel I have for the front of my house. So once I lined up my sentiment in the inside of my uh, Misty, I am taking just some cherry pop ink and that'll tie in to match the front of my card and I'm going to stamp that down to the inside. Now I hadn't used the stamp set before and I didn't prep it very well so I did have a little bit of a white blotch there so I am going to carefully re-ink that and stamp that again. And that will be the inside message for my shape card. So once we close that Make sure you do not have red ink on your fingers to put on your white roof. I decided to add a little bit of glitter to my lollipops. So I am just taking a glitter pen, adding some of that shine, 
And then I'm going to take, this is some crystalline drops from Gina K Designs, and I'm going to add that right on top of my lollipops. So I'll show you in a little bit here. It's just such a gorgeous gloss and sparkle to these lollipops. And it's just enough. It wasn't overdone. It was just perfect for the front of this card. I'll give you a close up here. You can see the sparkle that that creates and that will finish off my card. So I really hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. This was so much fun to make. I have so many other ideas to try out with this die set. And I will have all of those supplies listed down below in the video description as well for my blog. And I do have another card here I'm going to share with you where I just changed up the colors a little bit to my house. If you enjoyed today's video, I would love if you gave this a big thumbs up to let YouTube know that you did enjoy this video. And if you want to see more videos from me, I would love for you to become a subscriber and then be sure to click the little bell notification so you know when new videos are posted. Thanks for joining and I'll see you next time.